Hi, I'm Kyle Bryant. I'm the spokesperson for the Friedrichs Ataxi Research Alliance. I am coming to you from the storage closet in my apartment in Exton, Pennsylvania. I haven't cut my hair. I haven't had my hair cut for two months. So I wore a hat today so that I would not have to subject you guys to seeing my hair. <laughs> On behalf of Farah, I wanted to thank the Gare family for organizing this event that brings so much talent together to Cure FA. And I'm Ron Bartek, co-founder and president of the Friedrich Taxi Research Alliance. Uh, as you know, Kyle and I are both so happy to be with you this evening. Uh, so grateful to the Gare family for doing this third annual soiree uh, to Cure FA, and so grateful to all of you who are participating in this wonderful event to support FA research, especially in these difficult times. Like Kyle, I haven't had my hair cut in a long time. And Kyle and I have both been doing a lot of these virtual meetings. And uh, for most of them, we joke about the fact that we don't even put our shoes on. Uh, but because this is in Oklahoma, I decided uh, to put my cowboy boots on tonight. That doesn't mean I'm a uh, an Oklahoma State Cowboys fan or, uh, or a Sooner fan. I'll leave all that to you, but Oklahoma generally is, I think, very appropriate, the Cowboy Boots. Um, Kyle and I will undertake to be brief because, like all of you, we're eager to get back to the wonderful music, knowing full well that Eric, Liz, Michael, and Thomas Gare have for many years been making uh, wonderful four-part harmonies and that they've become uh, sufficiently uh, uh, gifted and devoted and generous to add a fifth part to those harmonies in the form of Farah and the entire FA community. Uh, we'll try to keep up. So, Ron, I was diagnosed with the FA right around the same time that Farah was diagnosed in 1998. My family and I were scared. We felt so, so alone. Well, how well I remember that time, uh, Kyle, and, and um, I remember how Rachel and I had just sat down, having just gotten that day, uh, the diagnosis of our son, Keith, then 11, uh, with FA, and we went to our old gateway computer before there was even a Google to search. Um, we, we saw very clearly that our son would likely get very sick, very fast. And we also found out that there was not a single organization in the world that was entirely devoted to supporting FA research. We saw that there was very little FA research going on anywhere. Um, and we saw too that like the Bryants, all FA patients uh, and their families felt alone and isolated. So we gathered a group of patients, parents and scientists to form FARA in 1998. We were all volunteer organization until, until 2006, working very hard to grow the scientific field and to raise research funding with small grassroots events. Ron, let's fast forward to 2007. Before I came on staff at FARA, you and I were standing in the parking lot at the Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla, California, I was about to ride my trike across the country. I, 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 I can't even say that I have a photographic image in my brain of that moment. I have a video image of, of that moment in my brain. It was a special, special moment. You were about to launch your first ride. Um, and I can remember putting my hand on your shoulder um, and pointing to your trike, it was parked right next to the SAG vehicle van that your mom was going to drive across the country. Yeah. Um, and I, I put my hand on your shoulder, pointed to that trike, and I said, you know, Kyle, um, Ferris been, uh, is off to a great start, but we're having some issues getting a full collaborative approach established with everybody. Um, and I pointed to your trike and said, we're looking at the vehicle of change. And sure enough, it was the vehicle of change. Your trike and your magnificent efforts have um, increased awareness, increased funding, um, and significantly advanced the fair mission 
of uh, treating and curing FA. So thank you for all that. And as you know well, Kyle, since um, Ferris founding and with all the partners that we've been able to assemble, partly because of your trike, uh, we've built a powerful patient community that's come together around the world, a worldwide network of hundreds of these brilliant scientists, an expanding collaborative network of global clinical sites, a deep diverse treatment pipeline and partnerships with more than it's hard to believe three dozen pharmaceutical partners, all advancing a growing number of promising clinical trials. Now we don't have enough time tonight to talk about that whole treatment pipeline or all those clinical trials, but I would like to give everybody just a feel for a couple of um, highlights. The first one of which is that uh, one of those trials um, that's in its extension study phase um, for the first time in the history of FA was a pivotal study that demonstrated positive top line results. So much so that the company plans subject to the obvious discussions um, with the regulatory authorities, they plan to proceed this year with filing for marketing approval um, for what could become FA's first approved treatment here in the United States and internationally. Um, second, the other trials already launched or soon to be launched are for the very first time actually aimed not at you know, symptomology or, you know, um, controlling those symptoms, but for the first time aimed at the underlying cause of our disease, uh, the, the low levels of ataxin protein. The, the one trial that's already launched in that category is uh, for a for ataxin protein replacement approach. Uh, the others, believe it or not, involve six pharmaceutical companies and three American universities, all aggressively advancing gene therapy in our very rare Friedrich's ataxia disease. So that's just a, an amazing tribute to all that our whole community has been able to accomplish over the last years. Ron, we can see how far we've come together and we can see how incredibly promising our path is moving forward. But we know that we would not be here without incredible families like the Gares and generous supportive people like all the people who are watching tonight. We are so deeply grateful. Please enjoy the rest of the show and thank you again. And turn up the music and turn up the generosity. Good night to you all. <laughs>